Greetings folks, in this video I'll be having a look at the PWM control of the XFC20T 3-axis gimbal. Now there are a few different ways you can control the gimbal. You can do it by a UART head tracking connection, uh, SBUS, Express LRS receivers or PWM. The reason I'm using PWM is that all the other methods require you to use the uh, gimbal config program which is Windows only so uh, it's no good to me because I've only got Mac so I'll just be doing the PWM control so let's just have a look at what we get in the box here we get uh, this little MIPI cable uh, lever which is very nice there's the USB adapter which you would connect the gimbal to your computer so they can you can use that uh, gimbal config program but uh, it's no good for me that plugs in there and we get this eight cable connector which goes into that plug there. There is also uh, an analog video out socket there. Uh, I'm not too sure how that works. You must be able to wire in a, a, an analog video power and, and video cable into the um, gimbal somehow, but I'm not too sure, but that's where it comes out. So we have the MIPI cable there for the camera and coming out here to go to the video transmitter. You would normally if you had the correct camera for the gimbal, you would normally remove the MIPI, MIPI cable from the camera and replace it with this one and mount the cable in the little cradle there. But I've got the wrong one. This is the DJI 04 gimbal and this is the Moonlight camera. I did actually use it quite successfully just by uh, not disconnecting this cable here actually, uh, as you'll see in the review video, the previous one I did. But anyway, let's get back to PWM control. Here's the power and connection cable. So first to our uh, power to the gimbal, 7.4 to 26.4 volts. Next to our for UART connection, that's for connecting to a flight control board for head tracker and normal control, but uh, I won't be doing that. And the next four are the PWM cables. First one, PWM1, is for mode selection. You can also use that for the serial receiver connections like SBUS and Express LRS. Next one is follow gain sensitivity. Then the yellow one here is for pan and the blue one is for tilt. So we just plug that one in there like that. I can connect it up and show you. First off, I'll connect it to a, just a normal receiver. That's a Express LRS Super P14 channel receiver. Plenty of spare um, PWM pins there. So I'll power the gimbal up from a 3S battery there. And you'll see the gimbal, the gimbal sort of does a little wiggle to show that it's working. That is in whatever the default mode is. Now we can connect up the receiver. Now I've I've got the four PWM channels for wires in one four pin plug there and I'm going to pin them plug them into six, seven, eight and nine. There we go and I'll power up the receiver as well with five volts. And I have my radio over here. So I'll just show you how it works. I have a pan on this knob here that is S2. I've got tilt on S1, reduced weight so it doesn't go up and down too far. I have the modes on this switch here and the follow gain on the six position switch there. And the follow gain, if I put this in follow mode, see it sort of slowly follows the attitude of the base. So that's with low gain. If I go to high gain, you can see it, it follows more closely the attitude of the base. Uh, and that gain selection only works in follow or FPV mode. So now this is the full horizon mode where it keeps the horizon level all the time. And the middle mode is uh, pitch lock. So you can see the pitch keeps the horizon in the middle and the rest of it follows the attitude of the base. And to set that up, go to the mixer page and then it is uh, channel 6, 7, 8 and 9 is where I've got the plug plugged into on the receiver. Channel 6 is the mode, the SB switch there. Channel 7, S3, that's the follow sensitivity. Channel 8 is the pan. 
on S2 knob. Channel 9 is the tilt on S1 knob. And I've got a reduced weight of 20 and I've changed the uh, direction of the tilt as well just so that it's more logical. So that's the basic PWM control uh, and we can do exactly the same thing on a flight control board too. So I'll just show you how to set it up on a flight control board. So once again we plug the PWM cable into four spare PWM outputs. Air 7, 8, 9 and 10 are free so we'll plug them in there like that. Need some power uh, and we've got 9 volts from the FPV input there and we'll plug the flight control board in and of course we need to plug in a receiver Telemetry recovered. okay there we go so once again we have pan tilt modes and follow gain sensitivity so let's go over to INAV and show you how to set that up in INAV now this is on INAV 8 and there are a few additions that are relevant on INAV 8. Now I'll just show on the ports page, this is new to INAV 8. They've added serial gimbal and serial head tracker support. So if you connect the gimbal via a UART connection, then this is where you would set that up. You would choose serial gimbal and then you'd open up the gimbal config program and you can choose what each channel does down here. Uh, and you can do some things with the mode sensitivity roll pitch and you're there as well. Uh, but because this is Windows only, I can't run that. So I'm doing without that. So we'll go to Mixer. And this is the standard uh, mixer for a plane. We need to add four more mixer lines. Uh, so five, Servo 5, 6, 7 and 8, if we look up here... Uh, so that is connected to pins S7, S8 and S, S9 and S10. And all we have to do is put in the channels that we're going to use. Channel 6 for S7, channel 7 for S8, channel 8 for S9 and channel 9 for S10. So that's just passing channels 6, 7, 8 and 9 from the radio straight through to those pins. So... Uh, by plugging in the four PWM cables to those pins, we get the mode, gain, pan and tilt controls. So there you go, that shows you how to set up PWM control, either with a receiver or with a flight control board, without having to connect to your computer to use the gimbal config program. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.